Hello. Hello. We have snacks. And they're vegan, you said? I think so. I don't know. Maybe you can confirm. Oreo, normal Oreos are vegan, so unless they added something in the cappuccino flavor. Normal Oreos are vegan? They're not made out of cream? No, they're not. No, they're not. It's crazy, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it is. Now, this is probably going to be the last episode that we record in this format where Stir and I eat the snacks, be natural talks over the... be natural talks over the phone. Um, because... Yeah, we said we have mocha mocha caramel latte flavor cream Oreos. I thought it was just coffee flavored. No, it's mocha caramel latte. They should have one that's just like coffee instead of chocolate do. on the cookies. They do. They do? But on the cookies? Yeah, on the cookies. That'd be pretty hard. How? But like on the like the cookies are not made of chocolate, but they're made of coffee. Well, no, it's coffee taste. So, the, but the cream's the same? Yeah, sure. Anyway, they have ones that are coffee flavored. Um, they have mocha chip. I've heard is very good. Anyway, um, what's mocha? Isn't that like that that chick from that game with the that visual novel? What does that mean? <laughs> the Doki Doki Panic Club. Monica, <laughs> has a horrible joke. Oh, we should. I'm mustard. You're still. I'm natural. You're being natural. Are you too loud? I don't think you're too loud. I don't know. Um, you're probably not going to say much because you don't have this snack. Well, what do you think of Oreo? How about that? Me? Yeah. They're pretty bad. Like, I'd rather, like my, my mom used to buy me these like knockoff Oreos that were like organic and I like most likely ones. weren't vegan, actually. I mean, this was when I was a kid. Uh, I, I called them vanilla cookies, and they were just vanilla. They weren't chocolate flavored. I liked them so, a lot as a kid. But uh, Oreos are um, underwhelming, and they taste like chemicals. Oreos definitely do taste like chemicals. I think to like Oreos, you kind of have to grow up with Oreos. Well, it's like Kraft Mac and Cheese. It's like nonsense food. <laughs> it is nonsense food. No, I love Kraft Mac and Cheese as a kid because my grand I would only eat it at my grandma's house, and, you know, grandma's house is a special place. So. I don't eat Oreos at my grandma's house. That's it's probably true. not true. But no, it might see, be. I didn't eat Oreos at my grandma's house, so I don't like them. No, I never ate Oreos at my grandma's house. Grandma never had Oreos. I just made that up in my head. Now, for the record, I did check ahead of time. The, the packaging just says contains soy and wheat, which is, like, surprising. There's not milk in these. Snowy. I guess that's a good thing. When I was a young snowy. Although I do have milk here that I plan on drinking when I eat these, because... Do you have cups? I have a cup. I don't see a cup. You didn't ask for you milk. You eating these with milk? Yeah, I'm eating these with milk. I, I haven't had nice. them yet. I'm just eating them. I would never eat my vanilla cookies with milk, but I've heard that Oreos and milk is like a thing. Well, yeah, I don't. I don't think vanilla cookies require. I, I I've had the off brand ones you're talking about, and they do taste a lot different. They do taste more like food. They do taste more like food, but I like Oreos. Man, those those chips that tasted like food. Oh, I yeah. started eating just Cheetos, crunchy Cheetos, and, just to eat something. Yeah, and. I'm just eating them. There's nothing else to say. I thought you were going to say, like, oh, and nothing compares to those Hearst deep dish cheese pizza I mean, okay, if, if Hearst cheese curls were crunchy, I'd like them a lot more. Anyway, um, going to the bathroom, okay. So we, we like, we like soggy food. I, I don't know if I would say that. We like soggy dessert. Yeah, I like, if you take some cake and just dip it in milk, mm. that's like an ideal texture right there. You take cake and vanilla ice cream and you mix it together into a soup. You that's take, like you, take right you put vanilla ice cream on cake, you wait for the vanilla ice cream to melt, and then you stir the cake into it. You take, you take brownies, because brownies are, you know, sometimes pretty dry. Take it, dump it in milk. You take a glass of milk, you dump it dump in the it milk. Dump it in the milk, you wait for like five minutes, and then eat you the You smush it up and you drink the brownie. Yeah, you drank the brownie. Yeah. I think it's just, yeah, it's perfect. That's why I think maybe it's part of why I like Oreos. Anyway, so uh, the reason we've been recording for five minutes already. Good five minute intro. <laughs> the reason. Well, how long does House of Snacks go? Like twenty minutes usually. Okay. But so... they do two snacks, and also they have a format. <laughs> well, we have a format too. Our format is nonsense. I just looked up and. <laughs> <laughs> These episodes are just looking at the stuff in your bedroom. So, why are you doing this on the bed? Not, I guess it's quiet in here. I'm gonna. I need to turn, 
he's making noise. Context. This this kind of segues nicely into the the one. Do you have a pic? Do you like? Do you have a photo of what these look like no, anywhere? No, you can. It's on Google. You it's can, on Google. Save the photo. The for sale on eBay. Are they? And they're just staring at me. <laughs> so, I went to some garage sales today, and uh, I bought two um giant like Willy Wonka nerds, like things. That I think stored candy. They're just big green and purple. They have big Willy Wonka nerds for games. With... And they're just staring at me. Right they have now. a big eye they... level on my shelf. They have like Mr. Potato eyes. Except that they're, they're just. I mean, you can't take them out or anything, but they look like that. You can open them in half, these guys. I haven't seen them open in half. Anyway, but that segues into the snack. Yeah, they're so funny because. Right there. I bought this snack. This wasn't, like, planned. Usually I'll be like, oh, I'll buy a thing. No, I was at Goodwill, the thrift store, and they were selling this snack for some reason. Good. In case you don't know, Goodwill doesn't sell food. Well, yeah, thrift stores don't usually sell food. They sell used clothes it's and a, sometimes other things. It's a thrift shop. They're all used. But they had these... Mocha caramel latte flavored cream Oreos for some reason. No other food. Just, like, up in the front, they had, like, five of these. Um, it was by the big. It was it was on the electronics by the big bin full of diapers that they're selling. That's, is that a all the clean ones? <laughs> <laughs> I just want to say big diaper bin. It sounds like you toss them. It does, yeah. But I checked the expiration date. They don't expire for what month is it? Like two months. Um, oh, we should say the date because we always do that because of how late these. I still haven't, for the record, I have not uploaded a single one of these episodes yet. Yeah. I think I first one recorded it, like, what, like six months ago? I don't know. I mean, um, it's July 30th. Um, We've been playing Donkey Kong, Foes and Ape. I just, we just got the end. Flawless game. I don't like the first Donkey Kong Country. It's too hard. I'm a little baby. Donkey Kong, pretty hard, though. Foes and Ape, Tropical Freeze, as some call it, is like just a flawless game, I think, so far. I'm really enjoying it. It's the, Mul- multiplayer works really well. It's the graphics aren't impressive or anything, but the visuals are the stunning. Like the yeah, stunning visuals. Like just the whoever sat at Retro Studios and like planned out what is shown on screen throughout the level was really knew what they're doing. And the fun. And also, it plays fun. like Donkey Kong Country. Like yeah, to, yeah but it's two too. player, so I can play. Yeah, it's Donkey Okay, and the the the, the way the two player functions, I think, is very balanced too. Now, then Donkey Kong Country two and three had that, but I don't know those games. Oh, they did. I think yeah, I Donkey Kong Country two, you should like pick up each other and throw the anyway. Throw so each other uh, and do, like, that's the a circuits. review for Donkey Kong Four and Ape. Would buy, would eat again. Um, we got it for like eight bucks or something. It was worth it. It was eight or nine, yeah. Which there's a like a that's cheaper than any other Donkey Kong Country game that you could buy anywhere. Speaking of buying, I bought these cookies for ninety nine cents, and uh, there's a sticker on the side, and it says was four sixty nine. So these this is like a deal on these. You know how well, then that was four sixty nine on clearance. So no, it wasn't. Clearance no, it wasn't. Oh, no, it's clearance was two thirty four, but it's still a lot cheaper than that. Um, and, uh, cause you know how the snacks, they go out and buy snacks. They don't, they buy the new snacks. They don't buy snacks at the thrift store. So they're spending money on stuff like this. Have they, let me check. By the way, be natural, you're still muted just in case you don't know that. Um, muted and suited. Let me double check if House of Snacks has reviewed these yet. I don't think they have. Did I tell you there's an old lady at the store and she was... These cookies are mocha caramel latte flavor cream Oreos. So they the, the, that's six words. The flavor just well, to describe what Oreo. The flavor is coffee and caramel, I assume. Um. So now that it's been ten minutes of recording, I don't know how much of that I'm going to cut out, but uh, pretty much exactly. Why are these available for purchase on eBay? They're limited edition. Maybe they're rare. I don't know. Anyway, are you ready to open this package now? I still have Hot for Teacher stuck in my head. I don't know what that is. It's Van Halen. Halen song. While you guys were talking, I ate um I ate some baked goods, including a fruit bar and a half of a donut from a local bakery. I love half of a donut. They were very good. At work, I saw half a donut in the break room garbage can. What kind Why of would... donut? Like, they had like... 
Swirl on the top. I don't know. Swirl on the top. Like swirl, like frosting, like stripes. And who would throw away half a donut? Did it look like a good donut? It did. Maybe it was stale. I, I, you don't eat half a donut and then say this is stale. I'm not going to finish it. Was it like bit into or was it cut in half? It, was, it wasn't a clean... It might have been a whole donut. I don't, but I only saw half of it because it was covered in garbage. <laughs> oh, so maybe it was a whole donut. And earlier that day, I saw like a like a package of like packaged donuts that were probably like stale or expired in the garbage. But who cares? Do, stale donuts don't go bad. They're just not as good. They're not. They don't become garbage. Do you want to talk about the, about the pizza guy? <laughs> Why? I don't know. That was, you don't have to. No, that's just some. No, we will eat the food. Okay. Yeah, oh, yeah, 12 Act- minutes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to get on track. What is this stain on my bed? Cool, cool. It's like, it is brown. Did you check tomato sauce? Like, you ate Chef Boy RD in here. I'm just gonna dig right in. First bite. They smell like coffee. Yeah. Now, I don't drink coffee. Now, take... But I do like the way it tastes. If I drank coffee, I'd probably that drink it That is a very strong coffee smell, yeah. Now, take notice that, like, half of these are gone already. Oh, fuck. Good. Was that a legitimate noise you made? <laughs> With, and you made like a cartoon chomp sound effect. That was very impressive. Mm-hmm. Um, so, uh, spoiler, I've eaten these already. Is it tasty? Yeah, okay. I ate the first one and I was like, that is very strong coffee. Mm-hmm. But then I ate like five of them after that. I was like, oh, it's not that bad. But then I was like, oh, one serving is two. Oops. But uh, I guess I'll have, have caffeine. Uh, chocolate has caffeine in it. I Do think. they have like, more caffeine than Oreos? I don't, I don't know. To, to, okay, to look at the nutrition facts, if we dump the whole package upside down and risk oil comes falling like, out, it, so I don't want to do that. It is, it it like punches you in the face with coffee as soon as you bite into it, and yeah, I just don't want to stop eating them. I don't, I don't drink coffee either, by the way. I don't um, know. um, I know you know. I, I've discussed my coffee habits with you, but. I have said this no, I, th- I said I do. Oh, you do? But when do you drink coffee? I don't, but I like it. Oh, I didn't say I don't like it. I said I don't drink it. You did? Yeah. So uh, I'm gonna do- have one with milk since I haven't done that yet. Cause I ate, I ate these. Um, I left the Goodwill, and uh, uh, I bought these and something else. I don't remember. Um, what did I buy? Oh, I bought something else. Oh, is that so they the have can. one that's just coffee? They have mocha chip. It's like coffee and chocolate. So yeah. Well, they dump it. I, I bought. I bought like a puzzle. It's like you know, it's like a slide puzzle, but it's like on. It's like a sprite dump can. So it's like a cylinder slide. So it's like loops. It's very interesting. And the lady picked it up. And like, what the heck is this? That's interesting. It's always nice when you're at a store and the person like congratulates you for your purchase. I wish it wasn't such a difficult slide puzzle to figure out where the things go. Yeah, it's a bit difficult. It's a sprite can. Ninety percent of it's just green stripes. Oh, Jesus! Milk is wet. It looks like I peed my. Be- it looks like <laughs> there's a <laughs> there's a, a, a Japanese flag shaped stain on my bed. <laughs> Whatever it is. R um, slash Wait, this is my milk. You can't use my cup. I guess you can. I'm not. I'm not gonna double dip. It's an Oreo. You eat them in one bite unless you're That's mom. That's true. Yeah, 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 yeah. Three yeah. bites. People, you eat Oreos in one bite, guys. Otherwise, you get crumbs all over. Now, to be fair, I am like six one and a half, so I have a bigger mouth than most people. What are you doing? Dumping it. I don't want my hands all Why are you like dipping it up and down? You just hold it. I don't have anywhere to. Man, I don't have anywhere to put this. Now I'm just holding a glass of milk. It's fresh. Here, move this. Put this over there. Don't spill it. Now there's two Japanese flag shaped stands. Is that that's what it is, right? It was the flag of Japan, but it's actually the perfectly placed water stain. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna eat one, I guess. I'm gonna get my own milk. We should talk about like uh, our opinions of these instead of just eating them while talking. <laughs> Oh, thick. I'm. I tried to dump it, and then suddenly it fell in half, and it almost fell into the milk. Oh, it's falling apart. I dipped the cookie in my milk, and my it, it fell out. What's this about? Hmm. I want to do a chomp. I I know I do. I do do a very good chomp sound effect when I want to. 
I want to hear it is again. Is it Tom? Chomp. Chomp. This is very good in milk. I'll wait till he's back to keep talking. I don't know. He just came in and then grabbed three. Oh, he, he left to go get milk. He came back without milk, grabbed three more Oreos, and now he's back without milk again. What were you doing? I'm just dumping on milk for later. Now, we should clarify that it wasn't obvious. We both love Oreos. We oh, really yeah. We like Oreos. We will eat a package of Oreos if it wouldn't... I'm a big Oreo fan. <laughs> the taste of these, I think, is more enjoyable than Oreos. It has more flavor because it's just coffee, which is really strong. I wish they were less sweet and more coffee. Mm. I love my bitter cocoa and coffee stuff. I hope these don't have a bunch of caffeine. I'm not going to be able to sleep. I I, wow. I I never drink caffeine. The only caffeine I have is in chocolate sometimes. But I don't drink soda. I don't drink Do you ever get up early tomorrow? No. No, okay, I don't work until like good. three. Yeah, I didn't think of that. That Oh, yeah, it's, it's like almost 10 p.m. That's why you're asking well, no, it's just that, no, no, it's, it's not that, but, like, my body doesn't handle caffeine well. Like, if I drink, if I have a sip of coffee, I'm like, I, I feel different from the caffeine. Or maybe it's placebo, but I don't care. There's I one more, do you want I'm going to go drink my milk ones. Oh, you put them in milk. Okay, I see. I don't know if that's what you meant. I thought you just meant you got a glass of milk, put it on the counter for later. Like, when, when later, what? Since he has three out there, I guess we'll stick this one in the middle. Uh, I don't really have to want to have to spoon it out with my spoon, so I'll just uh, kind of kind of dip it again. I only have like ten percent milk now, though, because I drank a big sip. Man, okay, the, I I feel like I think I think the composition of these lends to like the cream sliding off a lot more easily like because i was trying to dip this and just in my hands like the the cookie just like the 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 cookie that's attached to the uh oh this is like two different creams by the way there's like a a brown cream and like a light like caramel color cream and then one attached to the brown side just like literally just slipped off like in my hand so i have like i was holding two anyway I don't think it happens to the normal oils. I'm about to check the nutrition facts. I had like eight of these. I'm gonna be sick because of it. They're all gone. Yeah. Can you give me a? Actually, I'm just gonna leave the one. I need a spoon and a milk refill. Okay, it's not. It's not that bad. Okay. Okay, so, be natural. We're used to here. We're heading. We're, we're going to the kitchen. So eight of them is about the sugars of a bottle of, uh, of like. We'll be. We'll be back. Hang on. We're going to the kitchen. Little milk we fill. Okay, so so eight of these is roughly the same amount of sugar as a bottle of soda. So drinking these with milk kind of defeats the purpose of like this the vegan but like I would gladly drink this with vegan milk. Oh, I do be even better because vegan milk has more flavor than milk. I like vegan milk a lot. Let's have soggy oil at the bottom of the tank of that. Where's the milk? Put it in the fridge. Where's the milk? There. No, I thought this was Cheerios. So. Why is it eating that? That's not a snack. Only one hot snack is allowed. Is that thing real? I don't know. I'm back. Yeah, I was waiting for Stuart to get back so we can actually discuss the snack now that we ate it. Uh, be natural. What do what do you think you would think of uh the caramel coffee flavored Oreos? I really have no idea. I I like caramel, but I don't like coffee. I mean, actually, coffee's okay. Um, I eat these co chocolate covered coffee beans, which are really good, but I don't drink coffee. Uh, I don't really love the taste. I like the smell. Now they still multi. Oreos, so they mean, yeah. Is that, is that why they spell cream with two e's? Because like they can't say it's cream spelled like how cream is spelled because there's no dairy in it. 
Oh, nice. Do you mean it's like C-R-E-M-E or C-R-E-E-M? C-R-E-M-E, yeah. That's like a d- different thing than cream. What it's is like it? its own word. Why is it, is it the reason because it's cream without dairy? I don't know, but that's just a different thing. Like, that's the French spelling of cream or something. Hey, close the door. We gotta talk, we gotta actually talk about the snack now. I did, bye. No, wait, come back. What did you think of it? Okay. Uh, I'm just gonna talk about it with you then, I guess. Uh, Where'd he go? He just is done, I guess. Uh, I like these. They still tasted very much like Oreos. Um. Hi. Oh, you're back. Mm-hmm. I got I got all mentally ready to continue without you now. And physically ready. I lie down on my bed. Okay, so what's up? Uh, what'd you think of the snack? I, I don't want to eat. I, I don't think I get them. I might not get them again because I don't want to eat a whole pack of Oreos again. That happens every time. I eat, I get Oreos, I eat a third of the container. I don't think I'll buy them again because, uh, I'd just rather, I'd rather get normal Oreos. I wish, I wish they were less sweet. Like if these, okay, if they had, if I was at a party and they had like, if they were free, okay, here's the thing, they probably cost like five dollars. If I can get these for a dollar again, if I go back to the Goodwill, maybe I, <laughs> I might do that. Uh, so yeah, maybe, and you know, I'm, I'm no, I might do that. I didn't even buy them with the podcast in mind. I was like, you know, I could go for some Oreos. And like, they, they satisfied my desire for Oreos, you know. They weren't like too far from Oreos where I was like, yeah. Don't they have strawberry Oreos now? They have a bunch of weird stuff. Yeah. How about they make stuff that tastes like actual, like, like the off-brand? No. Off-brand Oreos are tasty. I like Oreos. They, they, the, the, the off-brands have like a crispier cookie on it. But also, when I was eat, when I was the eating them, my favorite part of the Oreo. When I was eating them in the, in the Goodwill parking lot, well, that's gonna be a controversial statement. What you say? I, I said the cookie is my favorite part of the Oreo. Yeah, I think House of Snacks believes that too. Or maybe it was some other podcast that was just using an Oreo analogy. I think it was. I think some podcast was like talking about Oreos coincidental because you know people talk about food, you know, you don't have to have a snack podcast to do that. And they were like, Oh yeah, this you know, you gotta I think they were like reviewing something, like, Oh yeah, this is like you know, it's like the cookie, this is like the cookies. Oh, it was it was like an album and they're like, Oh yeah, these two songs those are like the chocolate cookies, and the song between them that's like slightly less good is like the cream of the album, but it still should be there. Even though it's not as good, it kind of like puts them together. It's like, what? It's just cream, cream is the best part, man. I like the cream. Well, you know what? I guess if I had like a... Okay, let me think. If I had like, if I could do like buy like a pack of one of them, like either all cream or all cookies... All cookies would be a better. You can't dip the thing. cream in milk. Yeah, you can't dip the cream in milk. But the cream is the here's the thing: the cream is the milk substitution. Like this doesn't have the white cream. I think that's why. Like these, I was like, I want milk with these more. And I think that's why these taste a lot better to me. These were a lot better in milk. I think these. I think they have more flavor dry. Well, yeah, that's milk. Also, this is whole milk, so it's like very strong. It's very milk. milky, yeah. Yeah, the milky, milky, milky milk. I wish Dead Pets was on CD. It's not. No, because it's like two hours long or something stupid. I never listened to. It. Isn't it like two hours long and like barely finished? It's like not finished. Miley Cyrus. Like, no, For the record, we're talking about the Miley Cyrus Flaming Lips collaboration album, Miley Cyrus and her Dead Pets, and it is, and that's to me, that's like that's like Lulu levels of like weird, you know. It's like, why Ruby's am I... Ruby's that weird. Ruby and Metallica? Yeah, my... I, I've never listened, listened, listened to Dead Pets. Either. I should check it out. I haven't listened to the whole thing because it's not on CD. And I, I don't like... I don't like getting into an album that I can't own, you know? It's like, it feels pointless to me. To, like, go on my way to listen to something. And it's like, well, if I like it, I'm not going to be able to buy it. Yeah, it's like smelling food you can't have. Yeah, yeah, it is a smelling like food. No, it's you can't not. Have. It's not like that. <laughs> you can still do everything you do with music without having it on your hand. I can't open it up and put it in my CD player <laughs> and put it on my shelf. If I don't buy it, I'm gonna forget that I like it. 
I buy CDs so I can remember what CDs I like. Yeah, I should have bought that Dream Mass CD so that I don't forget that I like that song. I'm not gonna forget I like that song. I think of all the I I hate I will not spend more than I will not spend thirty dollars for a single. I don't even spend that much on an actual album. What are you singing? Was that that Fat Heaven song? Yeah, it is. Okay, I don't know that song. I was don't, I gonna I say? don't even know the tune or the words. Um, but I did look up the words. But my side has a song. But yeah, they did that album, and the Flaming Lips were like, "Oh yeah, let's keep working on it." You know, and kind of like you know, polish it, mix it, and stuff, and you know, put kind of delete some of the sections of the songs and make sure it all flows together in a nice, complete musical composition that we worked hard on for a year. She's like, no, let's put it out now. Let's just stick it on SoundCloud and it's done. And they're like, oh, that, that's how you do things? Okay. But yeah. Yeah, Miley Cyrus, she made that uh, International Harvester song, right? I don't understand this joke, sir. <laughs> it's not a joke. It's just a statement that's not true. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Do you know that song? No, I don't even know what it's band. It's a is. funny, like, modern country song. What, what band is it? I don't know. It's ever made International Harvester. The guy's like, oh, I'm son of a fourth generation farmer. And he talked about how he's... It, it, the song's just about him. And he has to ride his tractor slow. And he, uh, he does it. That's it. And he just drives his tractor down the street. I've probably heard it. I don't know. Because you, you, you love country music. That's your whole, that's your favourite thing. That's my whole gimmick. That's your gimmick that you, you always listen. That's not true. <laughs> that's not true at all. I just like some dumb songs. And it is a dumb song. But whenever I hear the the word milky, I think of the Miley Cyrus song, The Milky Milk. See, I don't, I don't know that. Flaming Lips. I think of stuff that is related to milk or uh, milk. I don't even know that song. The only thing I know about the song is that they go, the milky, milky, milk. That's like all of, the, the only thing I know about that song. Man, those those Willy Wonka nerds are very funny. Yeah? yeah, they just, you look up and they're just staring at, like, I, that's the only thing. Like, you know, those clouds, they're like way up there. Those things are way down there. Like, these are eye level. I just happen to, eye level and I put them there and one. staring right at me, yeah. You gotta get a picture of this and post it everywhere. They can be in the thumbnail. I think how these are gonna work is... Th- get a picture that's like them at that angle. They're gonna be on YouTube and this, this is gonna be thumbnail. It's just gonna show the... Take a picture of this. Oh, 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 hey, uh, Be Natural, what's the name of this episode? I can't name it. I haven't eaten the food. Yeah, yes, you do. I haven't eaten the food. You that... have to name it. No, you have to name it every episode. No. Yes, you named yes. the last two episodes. You named the last two episodes. That was a mistake. She was drunk those times. It didn't count. I can't name this episode the natural. This I can is name you. the episode. What? House of Snurds. <laughs> that's, that's really good. <laughs> okay. House of Snurds. There, now you're happy. I don't think I have anything else to say. They were good. Um, they would. They satisfied my my want for Oreos. They were really good in milk. Um, they seemed to taste better than regular Oreos. I don't know which one I would choose. If I, I think I would probably choose generic if I was given the two options. Did you, did you like your first one? Wh- which number of oh, well, this was your favorite one? The first the the first one in milk was my favorite. I'd say the the first two were my favorite. The first one was definitely not my favorite because I was like, that tastes like coffee. Yeah, and I, I was kept, I was like, that tastes like coffee. And I, I kept put milk, I was like, this tastes less like coffee. I don't drink oh, coffee. Oh, see, was milk your second one? No, milk's like my sixth one. Okay, okay, okay. Good. I think that's what I did too. But I I like them better dry. I... I, you were just talking about how you love dipping, like, sh- dipping milk into a vat of cake. I know, but I, with, cake. with these, it dilutes the flavor. Okay, I can see that. Well, I like that, because cool, like, then it becomes, like, mushy. Oh, you were gone when I was saying this. I was telling the listeners. They kept falling apart. I don't know if there's always, but I, I would dip it in. And then, like, s- like, I guess the milk made it slippery. But one of the cookies would just fall off. 
And that kept being a problem for I me. I don't know if you noticed, but one that could be was just like broken in half in the package. So it might just be... No, this happened like every out. time though. Like, why didn't it didn't say Goodwill? It was probably... And it was, it was happening like around. when I was eating it without milk too. Yeah, they probably got knocked around because that's why they're at the th- th- thrift shop. No, I think they were just... I think I, I think the composition of the cream is not as sticky as normal oil cream. It's not in as well. Oh. There's two different flavors. That's just my seem, hypo- that's These my do seem very easy to pull apart, but I didn't do that. Man, why didn't we try pulling them apart and adding more stuff? We always do that. Uh, because we're on a bed and it'd be messy. Yeah, but I didn't, it didn't even come to mind. But also what happened, I tried to do that. I think I, I, was, I tried to do that in the parking lot. But just one of them just fell off, broke in half, and then the cream like fell out completely. <laughs> and then I tried cream in my hands. How does that happen? This because these are weird Oreos, dude. I'm telling you. But okay, let me just say, um, I really I don't eat Oreo variants. You know, I, if I eat Oreos, not, not even the the vanilla ones. I just got I, normal I Oreos. I love the thin ones. Thin ones are pretty good. Um, and even like even like the mint chocolate ones. I love mint chocolate, but I, I eat haven't them. seen the thin ones around. They're not limited, are they? So those are no, better than so. those are better than regular. But like I'll eat I'll eat like the mint chocolate ones, and I'll be like, man, I just want to eat a normal Oreo, you know. And I love mint chocolate stuff. I mean, same with Kit Kats. I well, guess. except the the ones that are like dipped in white. Even those, they're like too well. They're different. Big. Piece. They're too big. <laughs> They're really big. Isn't it serving like one of those? Yeah, and the package comes up with like eight of them. They're like in their own individual. Well, they're things. like the Christmas time Oreos. Yeah, they have like fudge chocolate ones that are all year round. I don't think I've had. I think I might have had those. I didn't like them as much as the white fudge dipped ones. So the white fudge looks like those uh, the ceiling lights that, that they have at the barber. <laughs> anyway, my point was, I don't need Oreo variants, but. This made me want to try more of them, I think. Because the fact that I ate this, and I don't like coffee, but I was like, that's really good, you know? Made me want to try more of them. Like this, I was like, I wonder what the peanut butter one is like now. Because I, I remember I saw the peanut butter one at like a store. I was like, I don't know oh, it was a peanut butter. That's like weird. But it made me want to try it. I think it was because it was the same color, kind of. One, the caramel. Uh, here's my thoughts. Okay. I couldn't, you know, I, you, I, I dipping those in milk because th- these ones I dipped all of them in milk. I think after my first one, yeah, no, I dipped all of them in milk. The ones I ate on the bed, um, and I could not taste the caramel. I couldn't really taste the coffee either, but it was just like a nice texture. It was a nice. It was an oil in my mouth. I think maybe because the white cream was missing, the milk complemented it more. I don't know, but. Here's my thought. Okay, so I love Oreos, right? I think these have all the same issues that I have with Oreos. One, they're too sweet. Two, I eat I eat too many of them. <laughs> That's one of my issues. I ate with like Oreos. eight in the Goodwill parking lot. I had like eight here. The, and they, these ones maybe want to eat more. So they're they're a little too sweet. I ate too many of them. I want the cookie to be thicker. I want them to taste. I want the chocolate to be darker. I just. You know, I I love them to eat too many of them, but then I just I just want it to be better. It, it's a, it's it's garbage food. You know, Oreos is always garbage food to me. But man, I just I love it. Not like love like I do A and W. Like A and W is actually good. Oreos is just I just eat too many of them. A and W is actually good. A and W is awesome. That A and W is garbage American food done right. Okay, <laughs> that's my opinion. Um, I don't know if I've had the vanilla Oreos. I I know I've had the off brand ones. I, I don't know if you've ever had A and W. I don't know if I have. Anyway, that's it. House of Snurds. And the Super Mario. Snurds etymology is of course snacks and nerds, because you're looking at. I look up and I see these. I think they got really want to nerds figurines that are how big are they? They're bigger than like my hand. Oh like, yeah, we should say they're very big. They're like they are bigger than the can of bug spray next to them. Okay, it's a pretty small can though. Okay, well, <clears throat> well, let me take this bottle. Of spray. This is like a normal size bottle of spray. Yeah, it's about the size of the bottle of spray. No, it's, they're taller than that. Yeah, they're like an okay. The eyes are like. The top of the eyes, which is the top of the nerd anatomy, is about like an inch higher than the top of the They're like, they're much. thick too, they're like four and a half inches thick. Oh, they're as thick as the... They're almost as thick as a Sprite bottle. As a Sprite bottle. As a Sprite bottle, bottle, bottle if one if sideways. If you yeah. barrel roll a Sprite bottle, that's how long, how thick they are in their hips. 
Oh, there's other hips. Yeah. <laughs> no, oh. those are their legs. Those are their knees. I guess you're right. Yeah, the hips would be like behind them. Yeah, those uh, are. How, the... how how do like bunny hips work? I think they're like behind them. Like even like cat hips, I guess. Well, cats have like cow hips. No, but if they're they can sit like that, cats can. Yeah, the problem is nerds only have two feet. So that's not a problem. So and their stomachs are like and but they're like upright. So their stomachs are like in front. They they have hop nerds that are hopping in the little pictures on the boxes. Like they look like they look like this is like if this was like a horde creature. Like they would like this is like them like actually vesting and then they stand up and their legs are like eight inches taller than that. They like stand up right and they're like they're like twice as tall, you know? They look like mimics in Dark Souls. I hate it when I see the mimics tiny legs and they stand up and they have big legs. No no, you know what I mean? Like the the legs are like Dark Souls into one themselves. has some scary moments in it. You know what has scary moments? The game Walls by by Curious, Curious Planet. Planet. Everyone should go buy the game Walls by Curious Planet. It's a good game made by a man. And where's there another game? He made the end of, He made the end of Deus, which is the best game I played all year. D Y E U S the end of it. The end of Deus. Near the end of Deus, the end of D Y E U S. It was the best game I played all year. It's takes a lot of inspiration from Zelda One, but it's a first person uh, exploration game. game. If you like Zelda One, and you like Elder Scrolls Three, like combat, except not stupid. Elder Scrolls Four combat, but I haven't played that, but. If you like Zelda, if you like the first, specifically the first Zelda game, by End of Days. Or D-I-S, or D-I-S, or how it's pronounced, D-Y-E-U-S. I've been saying J-S. Okay. This isn't a sponsor or anything, this is just like... No, this is just... It's, it's a, a very, very game. small game that no one knows about, and I love Walls, I haven't played End of This, this so. creator is a hidden gem, it really is. And don't be thrown off by how outdated the graphics look. It's incredible. Okay, I like Worlds a lot. It's more like Metal Gear Solid, but it's like it's like freaking. You haven't even played any Metal Gear Solid games. What you told me is something Metal Gear Solid. It is, yeah. There's like multiple endings. Well, maybe not. I don't know if it's multiple. I don't know if it's multiple endings. Metal, like Solid, having, Metal Gear Solid sure One has two endings. Lots of cool. Worlds most people, I think two. most people, the majority of people who play Metal Gear Solid One, don't realize there's two endings. It's just like you do one thing halfway through the game that. To totally determines what ending you get. Hmm. Uh. Yeah. That's it. Go home.